Hey, it's Lauren from Radio World here today. I'm going to talk to you about the newly redesigned 2017 Humminbird Helix models. So they're called G2 models now, and the biggest change that these units have is all of them now have chirp sonar in them. Chirp sonar is going to give you much greater detail than traditional uh, single frequency sonar. What chirp sonar does is rather than send down 200 kilohertz um, pings at a time, it'll send down a wider spectrum. So you might get from like you know 170, 175 to 200 or 225 all being sent down at once and then taking the best qualities of those images to draw you the picture. So you get really detailed um, sonar views as well as side view and down view. So take a look at these new hummingbirds and uh, we'll go a little deeper into them. So what Hummingbird's doing this year is using megahertz rather than just kilohertz. You'll see in the bottom corner of the screen there when the simulation uh, bar goes away, we're at 1150 to 1275 kilohertz, which is basically 1.1 uh, to 1.2 megahertz. So they're the first uh, company to do this, and what it al actually allows is much greater detail in the side imaging as well as the down imaging. You can see that the detail that Hummingbird has now is really second to none. So we're looking at the 12 inch hummingbird here, the Helix 12 G2N with Chirp. Now the whole line is changed to these G2 or G2N models. The N signifies that they will network with other units. That's available in the seven inch and up models. And then uh, just the G2, which is available in all of them, five, seven, nine, 10, and 12, those ones have the Chirp sonar. Now last year we had Chirp sonar in the 12, but now it's through the entire range. So you can see on this unit here, we're running 175 to 225 kilohertz. And what that does is really gives us a lot more detail on our sonar screen than we've ever, ever had before. It really helps with separation. You can see right here a great example. There's a fish arch in a, around that cloud of bait. So you'll see that in uh, much greater detail. In the past, or, or when you're not using Chirp, that will just blend in and you probably wouldn't even know that that fish was there. So Chirp's a really big advantage. It's great to see in all these Hummingbird units. So on the G2 Helix units, we have the Chirp frequencies available in high frequency on our standard sonar. We also have a medium frequency, which would be in and around the 83 kilohertz range. High frequency would be around 200s, and then we also have the medium and high. And when we go over to the down imaging, we have the mega chirp, we have 800 and 455. Side imaging is the same, mega, 800 and 455. And the thing to notice here is the 455 and 800 are now chirp frequencies. So they're actually going to be much more detailed than what we've had in the past, just with the traditional 800 and 455. If we go over to the down imaging, you also see that they're in the megahertz range as well. And the detail of the bottom, as well as everything in the water column, is much greater than they've ever had before. One other cool thing that these Humminbird units have in them this year is Bluetooth. And that enables you to use a Bluetooth remote as an optional accessory they sell. So you can zoom in on your map, you can save waypoints all through that remote. You don't even have to touch the unit. So it's going to be a great thing for tournament fishermen. No more bending down and, and guys watching you save spots. You'll be able to do it all remotely. No one will even know what you're doing. So come in, take a look at these Humminbird Helix G2 units at Radio World, or visit us at radioworld.ca.